Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new series. I'm returning to Minecraft with Sky Factory 3. I debated what the hell I, what the hell I was going to do now that we're done Half-Life 2. I could go on to episode 2, I could do a whole bunch of other stuff, and I was like, well, no. We had a bit of a break from Minecraft for a while, and it's, it's time to go back. I, I miss it. I, I really do miss it. And I was like, okay, what are we going to play? I could do uh, FTB Season 3, uh, which I'm debating whether or not I also want to start that up sooner rather than later. Um, and any number of other challenge packs out there. And I was like, okay, well, no. Uh, challenge packs are a lot of fun. Let's do a challenge pack. And I really want to do a Gurian Skies 2, but Starkira and I want to do that as a, a multiplayer series and just haven't gotten around to doing it because we're so bloody busy all the time. So I said, okay, what can I play solo? The answer, of course, Sky Factory 3. So we're going to start this guy up and we're going to call it, we're going to call this guy. Let's just call it Sky Factory 3. Sky Factory 3. Uh, now what world options do we have? I guess I don't want to do any of that because it's going to load everything. All right, so let's create a new world. So if you guys don't know what Sky Factory is, it was created by Bacon Donut? Is that who created Sky Factory 3? Hold on, now, now I really want to know. Who's created... Well, I know it's created by... Okay, so it's... Uh... Who actually created Sky Factory? I actually want to know who created Sky Factory. I, I would swear it's Bacon Donut. But I might be wrong on that. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Sky Factory 3 is a Skyblock challenge. And unlike Green Skies, which is very storyline-based, there's no... Hardcore questing to this, but there is a, a uh, where is our, there you go, achievement book. So there's a number of different achievements. Bacon Donut. Okay, I was right. A mod pack by Bacon Donut. I was correct. Um, I've played the original Sky Factory and Sky Factory 2.5, and those were both really, really good. And I'm like, this should be a good time. So using this book, we are able to track our, our different things. We'll, read, we'll worry about this later. And I'll talk about some of the mods we have available after we get started. So like all good skyblock maps, you start with a tree and a bit of dirt. And uh, that's about it. And what we're going to do is we're going to hope. So we got some wood there. Now we're going we're gonna to mine down, but we're not going to mine uh, the whole tree. We're going to mine most of the tree, though. Please be more than four wood. How are we doing? How are we doing on the tree here? How are we doing? Uh, okay, that's our last one. So we're gonna we're gonna hang out here in the middle. We don't want our leaves to disappear just yet, but I'm gonna need some oak planks. So we're gonna grab this guy, turning him into that, into the crafting station. And okay, it's stuck as a crafting station. That's fine. That, that's fine. And what we're gonna do. For just a hot minute, is we're going to take this guy and we're going to put him down right beside that guy. And we're going to click him. And we're going to take this and we're going to make platforms. Why platforms? Because they are a lot, they're a lot more economical than, than other forms of, of planking and whatnot. Okay, so we're here. We haven't died yet, which is good because if we died, it would be pretty much a reset at this point. <laughs> Because <laughs> we haven't lost anything. Nothing gained, nothing lost, right? Oh, shit. Well, that's not great. That's okay, though. We're going to come around like this. And this is very similar in some regards to Agrarian Skies, but Agrarian Skies doesn't start, doesn't start you with just a single block of dirt. It, uh, it, it gives you a bit of a home to start with. This is literally just a block of dirt in the sky. And you're probably going, what the hell are you going to do? Well, I'm going to try and survive. And we're going to see about, for fuck's sakes, we're going to see about getting as much of the achievements as we possibly can. And I just don't want to die here, so I'm going to be extra careful. Remember to shift on your platforms. Okay. Now let's see if we can actually pick this guy up. If we can, that would be super. Yes. Okay, so there's our platform. Now, we need to get ourselves... Actually, let's not break those. Let's break this guy. And let's see if we get a... 
Actually, we're going to vein mine this. So vein mining is something that got added. And I didn't get a sapling. Well, shit. That, that's, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> we, uh, we need a sapling. I'm, uh, I'm going to restart this guys and I will see you guys in a hot minute. Okay. One quick restart later. This time I actually got a sampling and a little bit less wood than last time, but that's okay. We know a sapling. We have our platform. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I was really hoping that that wasn't going to happen again, but thankfully it didn't. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's drop this sapling down. All right. So there we go. There we go. We've got ourselves an oak sapling. And Dave probably going, what the hell do you do with it? How, how, do you, how does this work? Simple. We're going to twerk. By rapidly spamming the shift key, you can get your tree to go. And there it is. So there's our first tree. I'm not going to vein mine it this time. I'm going to try and manually break these because I guess... Because I didn't vein mine the last one and I got a sapling out of it. So my guess would be... My guess would be that it, it didn't like the vein mining. But let's go ahead. We're going to need some tools here. Uh, let's grab our, our thing. All right. So, I know about bio. This challenge in this book will help you through the early game. But there are several commonly asked questions regarding biome behavior in Sky Factory. You can obtain water by using a barrel to catch rain or snow. If you happen to spawn in a desert where there does not rain, you can craft a water bucket. You may also craft wooden crucibles to collect water if need be. Okay, yeah, so that's kind of like, um, um, what the hell was that weather mod pack? Uh, crash landing. Ocean mushroom biomes are both available locations to spawn in. Past animals will spawn in them. If animals are not spawning, use bait to lure them into your base. Very good. Uh, prison likes to, likes to train dragons. Remember that when biome you hatch your dragon, it will determine, okay, there's dragons in this. Interesting. Uh, you can never, you can't ever beat the pack. That's fine. But I provided the list of challenges. Can you ever really beat Minecraft? Not really. Uh, don't worry if you don't know how to complete them. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So use a crook on leaves to get a sap, to get saplings and silkworm. Okay. So we need to make a crook. How does one make a crook? That's a, a whole bunch of sticks. Okay. So we're going to break some of this. And we're going to say, let's go ahead and see if we can do this guy. Okay, so there's some wood. Now let's make sticks. I know I will need sticks, so I'm not too concerned. Builder's wand. Builder's wand? What do I use for you? Oh, maple potion. Oh, interesting. I can make some potion. Wow, there's a lot of stuff I can make with this, with all the different wood types. You can also use it as a stick. Interesting. The new UI with NEI is really interesting. I like what they've done with the with it. Very, very cool. But let's go ahead and let's make a crook. Because I don't want to... Oops, that's not where that goes. So there's a wooden crook. Now we need a few things. We need some silkworms. We also need a sapling because if I don't get a sapling from this, we are in fact fairly screwed. Aha. Okay. Sapling. Beautiful. Ooh, and an apple. So we got some food and we got silkworms. So silkworms are cool. They do two things. We can smelt them for food, which is great. Uh, we can also, I don't want to smelt them, but can I use those for though? I guess it doesn't show me that. We can also put them on leaves, and when you put them on leaves, they uh, they turn them into infested leaves, getting more silkworms, and you get string. And we're going to need string for a few things, like making a bed, getting any of the... Oh, that son of a bitch. Okay, so we need to make... Oh, no, it came to me. Oh, thank God. For a second, I didn't think I, I missed that sapling. I was going to be really upset. Okay, so we we should probably expand our platform. Uh, let's cut down the rest of this wood that we don't need anymore. 
and kind of go through some of the mods we have access to. Uh, this is a current uh, mod pack, so we've got access to a lot of really good toys. And you know, let's go ahead and put down a our singular torch to make sure monsters aren't going to spawn. And let's take a look at our mod list. Uh, can I do a mod list? Mod options. Uh, okay, so here's, here's all the mods we've got. Uh, most of that is just kind of nonsense there. But we've got... Bookshelf mods, Batan is in this. We've got Tinker's Construct, Chisels and Bits. I'm looking forward to Chisels and Bits because that's going to be a lot of fun to work with. We have regular Chisel. We have, what else is kind of cool that we're going to play around with? Uh, Deco Craft is kind of cool for doing stuff. Dimensional Cakes. Draconic Evolution I'm not familiar with, nor Dragon Mounts, so that should be a lot of fun. Drawers and Bits is a good time. We've got Ender Core, Ender IO. The Engineer's Workshop, what are you? Let's see what that's about. So the Engineer's Workshop. We've got, it looks like it's an auto-crafting mod. Heavy engineering blocks. That could be a lot of fun. There's a lot of mods to mess around with, so we're going to have a lot of good times with this. Uh, let's see what else. So we did that guy. Torque a sapling into a tree. Well, we did in fact do that. Make dirt by composting saplings or leaves in an oak barrel. So we need to get, so we need to do that. We need to do that ASAP. So let's go here. We're going to do that. We're also going to take, let's take two of them and make them into planks. And then we're going to take this guy and we're going to make some platforms because we need to make more platforms. We must expand. And as we go along, we'll redesign our platform as we go and add new areas and new functionality as needed and pretty much craft our world around us which is kind of cool it's one of the reasons i actually really really like skyblock challenges is you get to be very creative with how you manage your world and what you do with it okay there we go this is a serious platform now um if you see me letting stuff just kind of go out into the void don't don't be too concerned about it that's going to happen for the first little while because we don't have a magnet or anything like that to, to catch our bits. Uh, Food-wise, we're going to need to do something pretty quick. So that's why I'm I'm keen to start getting this uh, this on. Let's go ahead and torque this tree. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, I want some more saplings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take... We're going to take a bit off of this tree. And then we're going to infest it if we get some stuff. Oh, you know what we can do? Oh, I need... No, we need more wood. Because we need to make, we also need to make a set of clippers. So if I go in here, no, that's not what I want. Or shears, rather, shear. We want wooden shears. There is stone shears, regular shears. Where's wooden shears? Do I not have wooden shears? Ah, wooden shears. Oh, boy. Planks, a sapling, and that's a shitty recipe. But we can make that. All right. So there's our wooden shears. Because I want to be able to do a few things here. Oh, we still get saplings. Oh, thank Christ. Because we're going to need a bunch of these in order to make them into barrels. Which we will then use to make more dirt. It's important early game to get as many trees going as possible. Because trees are literally your life's, uh, your life's blood at this point in time. 15. How are we doing? Uh, that's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harvest this whole tree, because at least we're getting saplings still. And I think the next tree we make, we will we'll just we'll, we'll infest that one. Uh, one thing to note, though, is if you have... Okay, that's enough of that. We'll crook the rest of these. One, give me that. Give me that guy. Oh, because I'm like, why is it not... I'm holding the wrong button. Okay, you're behaving strangely. Okay, did that? So we got us another silkworm. I'm fine with that. Uh, you're you're behaving very oddly. I'm not gonna worry about that too hard. So let's let's cut this guy down and see how far we get. In order to get cobblestone, we're probably gonna have to use a sieve to get dirt. Oh man, there's some really great new um, tools for sieves. Sieves used to be, if you remember uh, Crash Landing in Agrarian Skies uh, number one, sieves were 
pretty OP once you got them rolling and automated. Uh, for both the Grand Skies and for Crash Landing, once I had automated the sieves, it was pretty much game over for having to worry about literally anything. All right, let's make an oak barrel. Uh, oh, I opened a uh, food bar. I don't need to open you. All right, let's go to... Let's fall need water. All right, where be oak barrels? It's a pillar. You just some bits missing pieces. Interesting. That's simple barrels, but I don't think that's what we want. We're going to want... Well, let's look up barrel. Let's see what we got. Aha! Wooden barrel. So we're going to need a platform and some planks. So we don't have any... Oh, we're going to need... Oh, no, we're good. So I'm going to take that guy, like that. Well, let's not get too aggressive. We're going to do that. And... Like that. All right, so there's our first wood barrel, which we're going to put right there should be okay. Okay, so how many did that take? We had 30 something right there. Okay, that's not bad. And it goes pretty quick. So if we can make another barrel, we'll be we'll be laughing, I think, for dirt, con uh, dirt construction. Oh, one thing to note with your silkworms is that they will infest nearby trees. So if you do want to silkworm some trees, I would I would highly recommend that you have a separate platform, which is what we're going to be doing. Ooh, thank you for dirt. All right, we're gonna just we're just gonna line these up. I think for now. Uh, it, it's once you learn about vein mining, which is holding your tilde key. Uh, don't don't vein mine your platform. You you'll die. <laughs> just gonna throw that out there. Because I've seen that happen. I have seen that happen. Let's go ahead. We're going to throw two trees down. And we're going to twerk at them both. And we're going to get two much larger trees. Excellent. Which we're going to... We're going to crook. So this is pretty much my life for the next little while. Is, is growing and cooking trees. Until we start getting into a position that I can make some technology for us. But this is good. We're off to a very good start beside that one little, one little, little bitty misstep at the beginning. That's fine though. We're, we're totally fine. Bam. So vein mining does have a limit. I will say that it's, it's not all powerful. It does have a limit. As you can see, it's not perfect. It does take out a big chunk though. And that is super useful at this stage of the game. Uh, we can make another of those and we have 25 saplings. Uh, let's go ahead and make another set of wooden shears. Where are you on that list of stuff that you are? Because I do want to be able to make more wood sooner rather than later. So you can see that killed our entire, uh, our entire shear set, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead. How, how does bacon do? Bacon is... Two full health things in okay, that's not bad. Let's go with let's go with an apple. Because we have a bunch of apples. And let's look at some of our achievements. So we make make dirt by composting, done that. We need to infest our leaves with a silkworm. Use a crook on infested leaves to get string, that's very important. Mesh. Okay, so there's lots we can do. There's a lot of stuff. Craft cobblestone from small stones, craft a hammer, etc. etc. Automating sieves might be troublesome in this, but that's okay. So that's into the stone age. So right now we're in the wood age, which is fine. We're going to be here doing the wood age for probably a little while. But I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Hey, can I make a wood axe? What's that durability going to be like? Missing. Oh, I'm missing stuff. So we're going to do that. Oh, fuck. Uh, wood axe, go. There we go. That's pretty good. We'll use our wood axe on this. and It's a waste of wood, probably, but we have a lot of wood coming our way. We've got 26 saplings right now. That's, that's pretty decent for this stage of the game. I'm not going to lie to you. 
we're doing well. I'm happy with this. We're going to expand this platform to, oh, torches. So we're going to need to make some charcoal. So we're gonna, so we need, yeah, we need, we need, there's a lot of stuff that we need. <laughs> there's a lot. There, there is a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more platforms. How many can we make here? There we go. That's plenty. So I'm going to explain the platform here and I will be right back after some more work. Alrighty guys, I've been at this for a little bit and we are now doing pretty good. I expanded our platform. So we've got that little guy out there, which we're going to go to in a moment. And I've got enough dirt that I have three trees running right now. I could do some more. I'm probably going to do that. What I'll do is I will put a spacer between so I can kind of stand in the middle here and have another three trees so I can have six going at once. And that'll give us a, a pretty decent amount of, of wood and leaves to work with, both either with the crook or with a, a set of shears so we can continue getting leaves and, and silkworms and stuff. But what we're going to do right now, the last thing, let's throw down this tree right here. We are going to torque it into a full grown tree, which hopefully doesn't take too long. Probably going to. Hey, there it is. I'm stuck inside a tree. That's fine. And we're going to say, hey, silkworm. Let's go. So you can see when you use this, um, it, it immediately changes the color of the leaf, right? You can notice it gets a little lighter. And if you look at Whalia up near the top of the screen, it'll say infested leaves. Progress 30, 40, you know, and so on and so forth. It's going to go up. And over time, the whole tree will become infested. So we want to wait until the whole thing is infested and then we will cut it down and it's going to give us a ton of silk and that's going to be a great time. In the meantime, let's go ahead. I think having the three gap is probably fine. I have three bits of wood here. So why don't we go like that and like this. You almost need to have your shift key on a toggle switch so that you can toggle your shift on and off. And I have a two barrier that way. So we're going to extend this barrier up. Now, the biggest thing is we need to get a sieve going. And that's really why sieve, sieve, I say sieve, but it could be sieve. Um, I, I really need to get a sieve, a sieve going and get some stone because stone will let us get a furnace which is going to let us make charcoal and a whole bunch of other stuff as well as cooking our silkworms which as nasty as that is it will let us it will let us eat okay so that let's go one more layer out well that i necessarily need to have this much space at the back the problem i'm, I'm worried about most is uh is animals and more importantly with mobs, because if we do the old F7 trick, you can see that obviously the platform is not fully lit. But we're going to grab this this guy right here. And what we could do is we could do is mini... Oh, we can't, is there no mini torches anymore? I would have thought there was micro torches. See, these are, these are candelabras, which is kind of cool. And we're probably going to build some of that stuff later. That is a fancy crafting table. Ooh. What do we got here? Willow lamp. Uh, no, that doesn't help us. What we're looking for is the small torches. Those are candles. Ah, it would appear that I, yeah, okay, all right. Guess I took tiny torches out. Oh, no, there's tiny torches. How many? Tiny torch. Oh, okay, you use mini coal to make them. You can't just, okay, I gotcha. But you know what? That's okay. That's totally fine. But we're going to put this guy in the middle here. And it's going to light up a decent amount of the platform, which is what we're really, what we're really after here. Uh, we are going to expand the other platform real quick, though, because I don't want to lose any of that wood. All right, so we're going to grab our crook. And we can vein mine this. So if I vein mine this, we're going to end up with, oh, a lot of string. Yeah, look at that. That is a lot of string, but we don't need to make wool. What we need to do is nothing right now, actually. We can cut that down, but that's that's okay. So we're going to put some more saplings here. 
Yes, those guys. And there we go. So this is pretty much where we're starting out as. Now to make a sieve, 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 there's a whole lot of stuff. Well, alchemy table, there's a lot to, to get in in this. But to make a sieve, we need a few different things. So we're going to need... Okay, so let's start with this guy. Um, we're going to need some sticks. Oh, we've got sticks. Okay. Oak. Oak sieve. So we're going to go like that. Make a sieve. And now we need to make a mesh. And meshes can be made with a number of different items. Um, or rather upgraded. So we're going to start with the basic sieve. So we're going to put this guy down. We're going to put it down. Um, we're going to put it over here in the middle for the moment being. And I want to make a mesh. Mesh. So there's a whole bunch of different things. We've got string mesh, flint stiffened mesh, iron stiffened, and diamond stiffened. And we're going to need this string. So that's going to be like that. Just a crafting grid. Perfect. Oh, that's different. Look at that. Okay, so check this guy out on the crafting table. It actually shows you what is currently being crafted. That is highly useful. But we don't need that right now. So we're going to go ahead and make a mesh. We're going to take that guy and we're going to throw it in our sieve. And now you're going, okay, what do we do with it? Uh, right now, nothing, because we have no more dirt. But we're going to make some dirt. And that's going to compost up. And what you're going to do is you're going to be sieving that dirt. Sieving, sieving, whatever. Uh, sieve. We're going to go with sieve. You're going to be sieving that dirt. Sifting that dirt. That's the proper verb. Sifting the dirt through the sieve. And you're going to get a bunch of different things. So if I go to stone, because we, we need to make stone. Let's go dirt, actually. So if I go to dirt, and I right-click it, and I look for the sieve. There we go. So it says, in order to use dirt, you can do, through a string mesh, this is what you're going to get. Chance to drop, two of them is 100%, which is great. Is a two times, uh, so get up to six would be like 10% chance. Not bad. You can also get carrot seeds. This is where we're going to get all of our food. And from the flint stiffened mesh, we get a little bit of an upgrade on that. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see, do we have any dirt? I want to see what we're going to get from this. And I don't want to go too far over time. So let's go ahead. So you got to right click and then eventually you get, hey, we got four. Nice. And you can hold your right click. You don't have to, you don't have to span it. So we got ourselves a spruce seed, a jungle seed, and eight stone pebbles. Four of those make cobblestone. So we now have two cobblestone, which is great. We need two cobblestone. We need a lot more cobblestone, but we'll get there. So I'm going to be doing all of this between episodes. So the next time you guys see me on Thursday, I'm going to uh, hopefully have a decent little little setup going here and we'll be able to get on to making some more interesting things and making our home nice and, and happy for ourselves. As usual, guys, if you liked it, you know what to do. Please, please leave a like. Uh, I'm really excited to be starting a new Minecraft series, especially Sky Factory. It's a lot of fun. If you guys have any tips, suggestions, uh, things you want me to build, of course, don't hesitate to share that out in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.